Derby season is upon us and we like to have some lovely desserts to serve at Derby parties, but it's a time of year where we want to eat a little bit lighter as we head into yes. warmer weather. Janine Washley's here from Cloverfields Farm and Kitchen to show us an impressive, light, pretty dessert. What are we making this morning? We're making a strawberry meringue dessert and it actually has its roots in England in horse racing of course you know mm -hmm. came over uh, you know we've got the big hats and all that you know from the derby for our right. derby so um, why not take this English dessert and give it a little Kentucky flair. This is a meringue after it's already been made. Are these difficult to make? I've never no, tried to make meringues. Not at all. It took about five minutes to make up the uh, the, the, mixture. The, the mixture but it takes four hours to let them dry. And the reason that mine are a little bit tan, I used a natural vanilla. Okay. So a natural vanilla is going to give you an off-white color, but if you wanted them to be snowy white, mm -hmm. use clear vanilla and you can get those at craft stores. Okay, now you have this in little pieces, so what are we yes. going to do with this? Well, I wanna show you, why don't you break that one? Okay. And um, you'll see they're, they're really, They'll, they'll, well, that broke kind of easily, but a lot of times. When oh, well, now it's crumbling. Yes. Yeah, when I get to they'll the edges, crumble. it's starting to fall yes. apart on me. So if you take a sharp knife and you just stick it in the edge and snap it, oh, you get no nice crumbles. Nice clean breaks. Okay. Exactly. So we'll do it. So if you do it that way, there's less mess. Okay. So, so now we'll, we're going to do crunchy and smooth together with these <laughs> strawberries. How do we assemble exactly. this? Exactly. Well, we have to season up our strawberries, and the way we do that is with extra fine sugar. And we use extra fine sugar here. You can take regular granulated sugar and just put it in the food processor and worry it a little bit. But this keeps it from being crunchy. Exactly. Okay. Yep. And then you feel like you have sand on your strawberries. Exactly. And then grocery store strawberries. This time of year, it's a little hard to a little find. Tart. Yes. So if you use a strawberry all fruit spread mm -hmm. and just put in um, a couple tablespoons of it. Not only does it sweeten up and give you extra strawberry flavor, look how pretty those berries are. Right. Okay, so now here's the easy part. This is gonna just take seconds. Okay. We're gonna take our bowl mm -hmm. and we're just going to put some of the um, meringues in there. Okay. Top it with the strawberries. All right. Here, I'll get yours first. Okay. All right. And you know, that's the beauty, uh, what I love about um, derby season. It's mint and strawberries and everything oh. light and beautiful. And this way you don't have and the this, oven going. I mean, you could assemble this, Oh yeah. put these on top. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. And really, when you think of it, see how fast this is going? This is pretty and it's got crunch. It's got good texture, flavor. And there we go. All of it. Wonderful. Janine, mm -hmm. and add a little sprig of mint for a garnish. Janine will share these recipes and several others, including strawberry marshmallows and a lemon tart. If you contact, contact her through our website, WDRB.com. Janine, thank you. You're welcome.